for sure. Yes, go Lowe! Lowe! Princess Lowe! Princess of Laos! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be embarrassed because of that. <laughs> own up to it, own up to it. No, it's okay. I'm proud to be the princess. <laughs> 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 You're all set. Okay. So, hello everyone. I'm sorry I wasn't here in the very first place. Yeah, but yeah, I'm finally here. So, I will just start now. Okay. Yes. 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 okay. So, first of all, I will say, do you know that um, Laos has the highest uh, unemployed rate in Southeast Asia? And now adults are starting to move from the suburbs to the capital central, capital, um, to the capital city just to buy some jobs. And actually, from working with the part of European Chamber of Commerce in the project called Female Mentorship Project, I would say there are numbers of applicants were sent, and those most of them are adults where they have a they have a very strong potential, and they are like they are a very significant part of contributing to their development. But actually, those people, unfortunately, there are kind of like lack of funding and lack of knowledge to start that. So like they decided they have no choice. They decided to come to the capital city. And from that, I would say these are the examples of those who join, of those who join the projects. These products are different products and these products are 100% handmade produced by people with disabilities and specific ethnic groups which the two owners of these started from zero from nothing and now they were invited to the road show in the Europe or in other parts of the countries across the world and these I would say these are successful story from joining the project these people have created jobs for local people and people with disabilities. I will say, uh, instead of, that's why I wanted to create something that's called a business support center for all. Now, we, ha we only have a business support center for women, but wouldn't it be better if everyone could just stop by, come whenever they want. Instead of just coming to the capital city just to work in a construction site, they could have used their resources they have back in their hometown where where they can just come to the center and I will use the connection that I have with entrepreneurs by guiding by providing guidance and training for those who wants to start their business just come to us and then we will give you uh, help I would say that but this is just um, uh, uh, this is just an idea for now because I haven't started yet. So I'm t I just want to share it with you guys today and I'm not asking for anything from you guys. I just want to share you with uh, what we're having now in Laos, the situation, something like that. But I may ask for your help in the future. Okay. Yay. 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 Hey, two minutes for questions. Great job. So yes. plan, do, you, um, do you plan to have like uh, a collaboration with other Asian countries? Like also like if if we have a business person, is it like possible to collaborate with um Yes, that would be great. Actually you know what? The female mentorship project was was um um, the idea of that was to um, send the mentee who applies for that to Vietnam and other mm -hmm. countries in Asia, in ASEAN, to like to pair them with the mentors around, not in Vientiane, but unfortunately COVID hit, so that we have to do it mm -hmm. another way. But if there's an opportunity, then it would be great to collaborate with other countries. Good question. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's get it. 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 Let's get